Executive Officer of the Consumer Electronics Association, Gary Shapiro. Happy New Year, and welcome to the 2008 International CES, where entertainment technology and business converge. In my opinion, these are the best four days of the year. Now the floor officially opens tomorrow morning for the ribbon cutting. And you can be the first to see the cutting edge technologies that are destined for star cells and star shelves right after the show. You can hear from industry leaders and learn about emerging technologies in nearly 200 conferences and sessions. You can do business and network with your colleagues. Four days packed full of opportunity. And I urge you to make the most of it. <coughs> we have an outstanding slate of top executives who represent different facets of our industry who want to share their distinctive views. Our keynoters include Intel's Paul Ardellini, Comcast's Brian Roberts, and General Motors' Rick Wagner. And please be in this room tomorrow morning, 30 for our opening keynote with Panasonic's Toshihiro Sakamoto. I'll also be here to introduce Mr. Sakamoto and to unveil for the first time our highly anticipated CE industry forecast for 2008. We also are proud of the extraordinary lineup of leaders for our Industry Insider Series. Here are insights from Yahoo's Jerry Yang, top studio dig digital media executives from Paramount, Fox, and Disney, FCC Chairman Kevin Martin, and top retailers from different areas of the world on the International Retailer Power Panel. <coughs> also, we're hosting a new program this year. It's very exciting. It's the Technology and Emerging Countries program, and it begins Wednesday morning. His Excellency, Paul Kagame, who's the President of the Republic of Rwanda. Also, MIT's Nicholas Negroponte, Qualcomm's Dr. Paul Jacobs, are just a few of the visionaries who will talk about how best to leverage technology to foster growth and development in emerging countries. And now, I am honored to kick off the 2008 International CES with Microsoft's Chairman, Bill Gates. You know, Bill has spoken at CES 11 times. He's given 10 keynotes, including eight consecutive addresses eight years in a row. Clearly, Bill Gates has changed the world and he's brought his vision to hundreds of millions. His story is legendary. He developed a version of the programming language BASIC for the first microcomputer when he left Harvard to find Microsoft with his friend Paul Allen. They shared a very lofty goal. They wanted to put a computer on every desk and in every home. The software they developed soon changed the way people around the world work, play, create, and communicate. Now Microsoft has created many new technologies that define the marketplace, and they fortunately launched them at CES, such as the Xbox, the tablet PC, the Media Center PC, the smartphone, and the Vista operating system. Now last year when Bill was on the stage, he talked about Microsoft's new generation of connected experiences. And he showed offerings from Windows Vista, Xbox 360, the Zune, and Microsoft TV. Now, Microsoft aims to provide the tools to let people connect no matter where they are. But in addition to being one of the world's most successful entrepreneurs, he's also one of the world's leading philanthropists. He and his wife, Melinda, run the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation with the mission that's so lofty is to promote greater equity in global health and education. With over 500 employees, the asset trust endowment of the foundation is $37.6 billion. And although he plans to step down from his duties with Microsoft in July, Bill will continue to serve as chairman and advise on key projects. This will allow him to focus on tackling the big issues, the diseases in Africa, boosting America's high school graduation rate, and helping women start small businesses among other worthy projects. So I am proud to introduce to you the founder and chairman of Microsoft, Bill Gates.
Corporation, Bill Gates. second digital decade. 